Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto. Today I am coming at you with an important safety recall for the Lowrider ST and the El Diablo version of the Lowrider ST. So that is something very important to talk about. Uh, it's something I found out about recently because my bike was affected. So I want to make sure that if you're riding a Lowrider ST uh, or an El Diablo that you know about this as well. Uh, you're definitely going to want to watch this video and hear what I have to say about it because it could definitely affect your safety. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so this was a recall that was announced um, October 9th of uh, 2024, and it was a voluntary recall from the Harley-Davidson Motorcycle Company on the Lowrider ST and the El, El Diablo. And so the motorcycles affected are El Diablo FXR ST models that were produced between June 29th, 2022 and October 25th, 2022. And then also the Lowrider ST, uh, 2022 through 2024 model years are affected. And it's gonna be those that were produced between November 17th, 2021 and August 6th, 2024. So on August 7th, 2024, they actually halted the assembly line uh, after they figured out that this was an issue and uh, went ahead and kind of did some extra testing and fixed whatever the, the issue was that led up to this. And so the issue is, um, and, and this is why it's so important to make sure that you uh, get this taken care of, is uh, it actually affects the brake lines. And so somewhere in the assembly line of the soft tip well, of the Lowrider ST and the El Diablos, there was an issue with the, the gas tank rubbing on the brake line. And so let me actually show you the best I can here without pulling the uh, the tank or anything like that. Uh, mine's already been checked out. I'll tell you a little bit about how that happened um, in just a minute. But this uh, basically up underneath of the tank here, running along the frame, we have a couple of brake lines for the front brakes. And the gas tank, uh, for whatever reason, the way they mounted it, the way it was assembled, was actually rubbing on some of these Lowrider STs and El Diablos rubbing on that brake line or those brake lines under the tank and causing rust and causing uh, over time the, the possible breach of the brake line. So you wanna make sure that you're not riding down the road and suddenly you have a loss of your front brakes. Now this does not affect the rear brakes. So you would still have some braking. Uh, as you know, the most of your braking is done with the front brake. So it's good to know you have, you'll have some but I would uh, rather not find out the hard way that I've lost my front brakes. So definitely don't mess around with this, guys. If you have a Lowrider ST or an El Diablo motorcycle, you want to make sure that you get this checked out. You don't have to go in and get it checked. Uh, all you have to do is go to the NHTSA website. I'll throw the link in the description. You can, throw the, um, you can check your VIN on their website and see if you are affected by the recall. You can also check the Harley website, I believe, and the Harley app. Or you could call your dealer, uh, give them the VIN, just to kind of make sure, sure that you're good. You know, tell them that you have a Lowrider ST or an El Diablo and that you want to make sure that you are good to go. And they should have, have no problem, at least I know my dealer would have no problem checking that for me. Um, if they have an issue with it, maybe it's time to switch dealers. But um, the number affected for the El Diablos is a total of 739. So again, uh, manufactured between June 29th, 2022 and October 25th, 2022, only 739. Uh, but for the Lowrider ST between November 17th, 2021 and August 6th, 2024, 15,039 motorcycles affected by this recall. And th that doesn't mean that they're all going to need, um, that they're all going to have the problem, but there is the potential that they could have the issue. So you want to make sure that you get yours checked out. Um, I was lucky enough to have a couple of concerned people reach out to me just to make sure that I was safe. Uh, number one was my dealer actually called me. Uh, Stonewall Harley Davidson here in Virginia. They called me and they said, uh, you know, hey, last time you were in, we missed this. Your Lowrider ST has a recall. We'd like you to come in as soon as possible, get it checked. They didn't charge me anything and um, mine was good. I didn't have any problems. If you have your dealer check it, they shouldn't charge you anything. Uh, it says that contact between the brake lines and the fuel tank over time could lead to a breach in the brake lines and a loss of brake fluid. If brake fluid loss remains undetected, uh, front braking may be compromised, increasing the risk of a crash. This concern does not affect the functioning of the rear brakes. 
So contact between the brake lines and fuel tank may be visually noted. In addition, if the brake lines have made contact with the fuel tank and exposed bare metal on either part, rust may, may be noted. So again, mine was good to go when they checked it. I'll throw up some pictures uh, of some people that have been posting in different forums that they've had problems with theirs. Uh, even before they had the, the dealer check it. So, you know, maybe they had their tank off for whatever reason and saw that it was a problem. Obviously, this was a problem for a few people and that's why it was reported and that's why they started um, looking into it because definitely it's a safety concern. Um, the dealer will, the recall repair will include inspection of the brake lines. If the brake lines are noted to be bent and contacted in the fuel tank, a recall kit will be provided along with the installation instructions to ensure proper assembly under the motorcycle. So not everybody is going to be affected by this again, uh, but definitely want to make sure that you get yours checked out. Uh, another person that reached out to me uh, was Canadian Saint on YouTube. They reached uh, another YouTuber. He has a Harley Davidson Fatboy 114. Great guy and he reached out to me. He kn knows I have a lowrider ST and he said hey brother like i know you got a low rider st i heard about this recall affecting the brakes i just want to make sure you were good to go um and that you were aware of it so shout out to you canadian saint i appreciate you brother and i'm um, kind of watching out for my safety and that's what i'm trying to do with this video i'm trying to watch out for your safety i want to make sure that if you're riding a low rider st today uh that you make sure you, or an el diablo diablo excuse me that you get it checked out make sure that you, um if you're part of this recall that you get your brake lines inspected because uh, it wouldn't be fun to uh, be running down the road and lose your brakes so again you may not have the problem but you definitely want to get checked uh, if you have a low rider st or an el diablo safety is what it's all about guys and want to make sure that everybody makes it home safe and, and in one piece so um god bless and i appreciate you watching the video uh subscribe to red free moto if you haven't already and please like this video that definitely helps me out uh, appreciate you. Um, love you all. God bless. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.